El, you always have a lot to say, and there's a lot to say today with so many great games. We still have a few things to say here with under a minute to go. This game is not over yet. It is a two-possession game. Plenty of timeouts for Tennessee if they want to advance the basketball so they can keep in this game for a while, but they need to get stops here. Absolutely. It's going to be stops. It could be aggressive, but any, any sort of foul, obviously no fouls to give for either team. Protect the paint. Know where Zaya James is. There's Wynn. Now they swarm Rivers, and Jackson gives it a bump, and Rivers will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Sanaya Rivers is unquestionably the leader of this team, and that leadership shines after NC State lost back-to-back -back games in conference play to Duke in North Carolina. She called a team meeting and she told the players to write on index cards what was on their mind, what wasn't working with the team. And she said some had a lot to write. Some had to air some grievances, but the main takeaway was we're not taking this serious enough. So Sanaya holds on to the card. She's the only one who's read the cards. They're trying to figure out whose handwriting it is. Only Sanaya knows. And if she thinks, sees things aren't happening the right way in practice or in a game, she'll pull those cards out. She carries them in her bag all the time. So those cards are always there for her. And it's a reminder of what's happening with the team, what needs to be right. And it's been right since that moment. They've gone four and one, only losing to Notre Dame in the ACC championship game. I am just blown away by the, the leadership, the growth of Sanaya Rivers. And her teammate, Isaiah James, crediting her with that player-led meeting. Unbeknownst to, to their head coach, what was all going down, but the players came together so that there was a moment that if someone needed to be held accountable, if there was something written down, it was Sanaya Rivers who could go to that player, make sure that they were okay. It was being more serious. How far do we want to go? How, how, how good can we be? And they're about 49 seconds away from the Sweet 16. Sanaya, who, of course, started her career, as we mentioned, at South Carolina. Dawn Staley said, your future is at a point guard, as a point guard. Little did we know it would be a point guard at NC State. And she has stepped into that role. First team all-conference, the junior from Wilmington with 18 points, trying to push NC State to the Sweet 16. Seven-point game, 49.4 out of the Tennessee timeout. Here's Jewel Spear, unlimited range, an open look, and banks it in for three. Here's the pressure, and the timeout's called by Wes Moore. Kelly Harper is livid about that timeout. She thought that they had the steal and the score, but the timeout was called at midcourt. Pleading oh. her case, but... Kelly's looks on the sideline, the emotion. And now her assistant's just grabbing her, saying, just let's get in the huddle, let's reset. We all remember the look on Kelly Harper after Camilla Cardozo's game-winning shot for South Carolina. And then Tennessee turns up the defense, but Westmore was calling a timeout. Look at the top of your screen. Timeout, timeout. The ball was in play, but you saw the officials arm up. So Kelly Harper knows they were a split second away from a steal and a score. And, and Jewel Spear got free because of Zion James was was off the inbounder, doubling up on Rakia Jackson. So Spear free for that three. What will they do here? Will they quickly foul? They will. James is fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line. 77% on the season, one for one now today. Powell picks up her third. You know, Harper's team extending this game right now. They get the spear three-pointer. Forcing NC State to make the free throws. Twenty-one now for Zaya James. 
31 for Rikia Jackson. Catch, free throws for James. Timeout called by Tennessee. That'll leave Tennessee. one for the Lady Balls. Let's take a look at today's Capital One rewarding performance. She just delivered at the free throw line. She has set the tone throughout here today for NC State. Her, her, her unselfish play, getting teammates involved, but when she needed to score, she was able to, man, with ease, the three-point line, the mid-range, getting to the around, finding open gaps, being able to attack 22-7 assists, most impressively against Tennessee's length, zero turnovers. What a day for James. It's a big story for NC State. Just four turnovers all game for the Wolfpack, helping them to a six-point lead, 44 seconds away from a trip to Portland. Flip it around. Six-point game, two possessions. We've been here before for Tennessee. Yep. They got the three from Spear. Is that where they look, or do they look for Jackson? Do you need a three right now? I'm, I'm a fan of first available shot. Don't take a lot of time off the shot clock. There's, you could run some two-man game with, with Jackson and with Jules Spear. Whether you pick and pop, you got, you got to go quickly. Obviously, with a six-point deficit for Tennessee, no more than 10 to 12 seconds. Spear would obviously be, she just hit a three, so I think she deserves a look, but Rakia Jackson has been absolutely dynamite today. But you can't go wrong with the two of them in an action. Everyone rising to their feet here inside Reynolds Coliseum. Final minute, the winner to take on the two-seat Stanford in Portland on Friday. Spear throws it into Jackson. They look for the quick shot. They get it from Rakia. 33 now for Rakia Jackson. Here's the pressure. Mimi Just Collins back in the out. game. Oh, a tie up. Possession arrows with NC State. Remember, they still have the arrow, but they are making it difficult right now for the Wolfpack. The second possession with Tennessee with full throttle defense, trying to force a turnover. Almost had that steal, but more West more burned that timeout. Hayes back to James. James swapped in the backcourt. Rivers pushes it across in time, and she is fouled by Rakia Jackson before the shot. Two free throws for Sanaya. That's the third on Jackson. And Rivers heading to the free throw line. Five of seven today, 74% on the season. Tennessee will not take a timeout to advance it. They'll keep that in their pocket. Powell on the push. Tipped out of bounds by Zoe Brooks. Tennessee ball. We're looking to the bench, seeing if they want to go to the replay. And Zoe Brooks is like, don't even ask for a review. I touched it last. Let's play. Darby, good three-point shooter, trying to get her shot. Rivers denies it. Foul Tennessee. Sonia Rivers, time and again. Her star gets brighter and brighter by the minute. How about this play? A sweet 16 on the line. Hands up, stays with Darby, knows what she wants to do. The discipline, no foul. Just a great closeout, Rivers. Wow, what a play. All might but seal it up for NC State. 19 points, six rebounds, two assists, two steals, and three block shots 
for Rivers. You can't wish that one in. Once again, one of two. There's Powell into the front court. Powell with the crossover, and a foul is going to be called on Zoe Brooks. Could have gone against Tennessee because Tess Darby was in harm's way right there for the Lady Balls, but that is a foul on NC State and two free throws coming for Tennessee. Four fouls on Brooks. And Tennessee with a chance to score with the clock stops. Powell 8 of 11 from the line today. Kyle Wynn gets in there. Second chance here for Tennessee. Find your shooters. Puck gets a shooter. Can't get it. Zoe Brooks with the rebound. And Zoe Brooks is fouled near midcourt. Eight points, eight to go in a six point game. Time and score not in Tennessee's favor right now. And Zoe Brooks can put it away at the line. Performance by the freshman playing big minutes here in the NCAA tournament. One of two from the free throw line. Powell into the front court. Spear launches for three. This one won't drop. Grabbed by NC State. It's a sweet, sweet 16. For the 16th time, NC State is headed to the sweet 16. They're heading to Portland. Dear friends, Westmore, Kelly Harper, John Harper. Seventy-nine, seventy-two, the final. NC State heading back to the Sweet 16. They have a date with Stanford That's on Friday. Gonna be a good one. The way that the the Wolfpack played today, defensively, offensively, they shared it. They were so tough. It's gonna be a great tournament. Looking forward to it. Producer James Davidson, Director Anna Bryant, Steffi Sorensen, I'm Eric Freed. So long from Raleigh.